this is my little area where I keep most of my makeup. I do have one little like Tupperware small drawer that has five drawers that I keep like my mascara and concealer and a couple other things in. So I'll show you guys that at the end. But for the most part, this is where I keep the majority of my makeup. And you can see I have this little design right here on my Alex drawers and that is actually vinyl that I cut out myself. I have a little vinyl cutter and I cut vinyl for myself and for other people. And so this is just something that I designed myself. I took a lot of different like shapes and flourishes and I did all that myself. So it's not really something that I can like refer you to or leave a link below for. But if you know someone who cut vinyl, they can probably do something similar to this if you just ask them or you could just ask them to do anything and they could probably do it. So that's what I did with my drawers to kind of like add a little bit of pizzazz to them. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way, but since it's just vinyl, it will just peel right off when I decide that I don't like it anymore. It'll just come right off really, really easily. And so that's why I like it because I could have it like this for, you know, a couple weeks or a couple months. And then if I change my mind, then I can peel this off and I can come up with something new that I want to put on. So that's really nice that you can have that versatility to change it. If you guys aren't already subscribed and you would like to be, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you do like it. I would really appreciate it. I love adding new people to our little YouTube family here. And I will try my hardest to keep this as short as possible. It is going to be a decently long video because I do have a lot of makeup and I am just a makeup junkie. I love it and I like to collect it. So, you know, there's going to be, it's going to be a decently long video. So, you know, get comfy, grab a snack if you guys are hungry, and let's get started. Okay, so my bigger palettes that won't fit in my drawers standing up like this, I like to keep my palettes in my drawers like this instead of laying down because if I lay them down, then I have to like dig through them and I hate doing that. So the palettes that are too big to stand up this way, I keep up here in these two letter organizers. So this one I got from a store called Bells. I don't know where they have them. I live in Arizona and I know they only have Bells in certain states, but that's why I got that. It's kind of like Ross and TJ Maxx and those kind of stores. And then this one over here is like a white letter holder and it's got like a floral pattern on it. I just thought it was cute. I got that one from Amazon and I will link that down below if I can find it. So let's start going through these palettes. This first one here is my most used, most loved, favorite palette. This has my Makeup Geek Neutral Shadows in it. In general, I love Makeup Geek Shadows, but these are the ones that I use most often. So a couple of the ones that I use like every single day are Shimma Shimma, uh, this one is Creme Brulee and Frappe. This is Mocha and Cocoa Bear. Those ones are my most loved favorites. And then of course they have tons of other ones that are really pretty. Cupcake up here is gorgeous. Um, Homecoming, there's just so many that are really, really pretty. So this palette I use almost every day. It's kind of actually hard for me to use a different palette instead of this one because I love this one so much. Okay, next we have another extra large Z palette and this one has all of my Makeup Geek blushes in it. These ones down here are the ones that I use the most, kind of like the peachy neutrally ones. And then these nice pinky purple ones up here are nice too. I just don't use them as often. My favorite ones are Infatuation and Smitten and I like to mix those two together. But again, Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek products are just fantastic. Then I have this Morphe palette. This is kind of like, again, my neutrally palette, the shadows that I wear most often from Morphe. And a lot of these colors are the same as the one in the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. So I really, really love this palette and they're just so pigmented and really, really pretty. And up here, these two palettes are my Anastasia Single Shadows. So I have them organized by finish. So these ones right here are all the mattes that I have. And then the titanium ones, these ones are duochrome. And I really, really like these shadows. The mattes are my favorite and they have some really nice other ones. And then some that aren't so great, but like these two titanium ones are like so metallic. It's like unreal how gorgeous they are. Then this is my other Anastasia single shadow palette and again organized by finish. So this one, Dusty Rose and Frosted Lilac are my two favorite in this palette. Frosted Lilac is so pretty. This is probably one of my favorite shadows that they have from Anastasia and I wear that one all the time with like a purple kind of color scheme and it's just really, really pretty. Then these last two palettes up here are kind of like my brighter palette. So this is the Morphe one that's really bright and pretty just when I want a bright look and then these are my Makeup Geek shadows that I either don't use as often or they're brighter. These are just the regular ones and this is the foiled one in Caitlin Rose and I keep my other foiled ones um, in another palette. Okay, then over here I just have a couple more palettes. So this one of course is the Lorac Mega Pro palette which is 
so pretty. I love this palette. I actually have an extra one of these that I originally bought as a backup, but I'm probably never going to go through a whole palette or, you know, the shades that I like. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway um, in the next couple weeks with that Lorac Pro Mega Palette. So if you guys aren't subscribed, then definitely subscribe so that you guys can see that when it comes up. And then this is another Z palette. Right here I have my Makeup Forever um, the new shadows that came in the studio case and I just depotted them and put them in here because it was easier and it wasn't so bulky and then all of these bigger shades over here are from the Anastasia contour book which I bought. What I like to do is they're really nice for contouring but I like to pop them out and use them for eyeshadows as well and it's just nice to kind of play and you can have a huge variety of matte eyeshadows and so I've been doing that a ton and then these ones I've been using to contour with so this is like the banana powder and then the new cool tone contour powders but I've been doing that, just pulling them out and using them a lot for eyeshadow. This palette here is my Laura Geller 20 Shades of Baked. I think this was limited edition. I don't know if you can still get it anymore, but I really, really like baked eyeshadows and they're just really pretty to use wet or dry. You can just get a really, really intense look. So I love this palette. And then the last one up here is the Kat Von D Star Studded Book. And this one got a lot of mixed reviews. And I think there's some shadows that are definitely really bad quality in here. But for the most part, you know, most of the shadows are pretty decent. So I like this book. There's some really nice like coppery and really nice orange colors. So it's a good palette in my opinion. Okay, so this is my top drawer. And this one I keep a lot of single eyeshadows in. So this one right here is Brulee from Wet n Wild. I just use that to set my eyeshadow primer almost every day. And then I have some e.l.f. smudge pots over here, which are really good for cream base and then some cream eyeshadows and then I have some Maybelline single shadows these ones right here are pop beauty eyeshadow singles and then up here at the front I have some uh, prestige total intensity eyeshadows I got these at Ulta and these are really really pretty and really intense I especially like this one which is called spellbound for like really nice shimmery lid color and then these ones are essence urban decay naked and buck this one is a NYX eyeshadow Pacifica, and this is just a sample of the Smashbox Full Ex Exposure Palette that I got from like a Sephora Point Perk or something. These are Maybelline Baked Duos. I really like those ones a lot. A random Revlon one. These ones are Hikari ones, which I got from an Ipsy offer. And then I have some uh, Hard Candy Baked Duos, and these are all the Elf Baked Shadows, which are really nice. Again, like I said, I love baked shadows. I have a ton of them, you'll see. This one is Stila Kitten and Urban Decay Sin. And then these are all of my Milani Gel Powder eyeshadows, which are really, really pretty. And then these right here are all of my Infallible shadows, which are fantastic. And then these four right here are kind of like the knockoffs. This one is an Ulta brand one. And these two are hard candy ones. They're pretty nice, but they're not as intense or as pigmented as the L'Oreal ones. And then I have a couple of random Lorac shadows. And then these ones right here are just extras like backups of some of my favorite shadows so these ones are just like the regular makeup geek ones and these are the foiled makeup geek ones and there are even some extra foiled shadows back there I have like a complete set of backups for the foiled shadows because I think they're just really awesome and then these ones are Anastasia Beverly Hills backups that I've got okay so this is my second drawer and again it's got a lot of single shadows and I forgot to mention that these little drawer organizers I made all of them myself I did a tutorial and I will uh, link that down below for you guys if you want to watch it and the reason I made them myself is just because I really wanted to not waste space and to be able to really organize things the way I wanted I didn't want you know like huge dividers if I didn't want huge dividers I really wanted to be able to do it myself and so this was the perfect solution and then the other thing that I really like about these dividers is that I made them so that you can access this space here in the back which I feel like if you don't do something this space back here is just going to be wasted because it's just so hard to get back there when you have drawer organizers in there and so I made these so that you could just slide them forward and then you could put something right here so it'd be super easy so that you can put you know more makeup items in here but when you want you can just take it out really easy and really quick slide this forward and then you can access everything without you know like feeling like you're wasting space back here so that's one thing I really really like about this little style of drawer organizer so again I'll link it below if you guys want to watch it so this is a lot of cream shadows and pigments. So over here I have pigments from e.l.f. and these are the Long Lustrous Eyeshadows. And then I have Lorac uh, 3D Liquid Luster Drops, which these are really, really fantastic. I love them. Um, an NYC pigment. This is a Josie Moran uh, Coconut Water Eyeshadow. These are some NYX pigments that are really nice. 
And then these are all of my uh, Maybelline color tattoos and then kind of like a random Stila eyeshadow back there. Then back here I have a couple random shadows. I have two pixie shadows, a little wet and wild bright pink shadow, and then I have some pigments. This one is a Tarina Tarantino one. I've got a couple of these. And then these ones are the Ulta pigments, which are surprisingly good. I really like them. And they have these really cool little stoppers in them so that you don't make a mess with your pigments where it just pops a tiny little bit of pigment out there and then you don't end up spilling them everywhere. So those are really, really nice. I love those little sifters in there. And these ones are Bella Pierre eyeshadows that I got like in subscription boxes. And then these here are my Makeup Geek uh, pigments, which again, I'm in love with, but they're just barely coming out with new sifters. So some of them don't have sifters. And if you guys have the Makeup Geek pigments without sifters, you know what a pain it is to work with them. So that's kind of a bummer. I hope that they'll sell sifters eventually. Okay, sorry, kind of a tangent. And then I've got a balm one that's really pretty. This one is a Maybelline Color Tattoo pigment. These ones are Bare Minerals and then some more Hard Candy Duos. And then these right here are all MAC pigment samples. And I just like to buy these online. I'll leave the link below where I generally buy my pigment samples from because I'm never going to use a whole pigment and so I'm not going to waste, you know, like however much they cost for a whole pigment when you can buy a little tiny one for like two bucks and it's going to last you forever. Okay, so this is my highlighter drawer. So starting on this side, I have Wet n' Wild's Reserve Your Cabana. These ones are a couple Wet n' Wild furry ones, which are really pretty. This one is the Rose Champagne Glow, and this is the gold one that I think was limited edition. And then I've got a bunch of Physicians Formula. So I have these little block ones, which I can't remember the name of them, but I have both of them. Those are gorgeous. This is a Physicians Formula one in beige pearl. And then the Physician Formula strips, which are really, really pretty as eyeshadows or highlighters, or you can even use the darker shades as like shimmery bronzers and then I have uh, Hard Candy's Tiki which is really a nice highlighter and of course Mary Luminizer from The Balm and then this one is a Revlon Skin Light which is nice for like mixing in with foundation and then over here I have this Hard Candy one which I really only use the highlighter that's why it's in this drawer and it is so amazingly pigmented and gorgeous you can see right there it is just like really, really pigmented. And it really rivals the Balm's Mary Luminizer in my opinion. So in case you're interested, this one is in the shade Three Times a Lady. Okay, then I have a bunch of e.l.f. ones. This is the Mineral Bronzer that's really actually like a light highlighter. And then the Baked ones, which are really nice. This is the Kiko Eyeshadow in 208, which is a dupe for Max Whisper of Guilt. And again, just very, very pretty gorgeous gorgeous color if you guys can find this i definitely recommend it okay then this is a little tart cream one that came in a little set for the holidays and then i have a mini what's up from benefit and then a full size one then this is the msf in light scapade and these are my becca highlighters i have rose gold opal and moonstone which these are amazing also if you don't have them you should have them um, this is a little e.l.f. one that I don't use that often. This is in the shade Gotta Glow, which is a nice like uh, like white gold highlighter if you're on a budget. And then I have a Stila one right here. It's like a bronzy one. And of course the uh, Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination, which is really pretty. And then just like kind of a cream highlighter. So this one is Sonia Kashuk. Some of the e.l.f. ones, which these ones are nice too. Like I said, if you're on a budget, you can mix them with your foundation. It's basically the same thing as the Revlon ones. They're just like way cheaper. And then these are some of the little Becca, I think they're called like hot, sh hot shots or hot spots or something. They're little illuminators and they just have a doe foot applicator. So those are nice. You can get the whole set right there. And then I have a little mini Becca Opal one, a Buxom one, and this Josie Marin um, Argon Oil Illuminator, which is really, really pretty. Okay, these are my bronzers. Over here I have a bunch of e.l.f. compacts. These ones back here are the uh, duos, the blush and bronzer duo. So I have like the, cr the cream one, the matte one, and then the regular one. And then these ones, uh, these two right here are the like quads that have four colors for bronzing. So this is the cool one. And you can use like one section or you can mix all of them together. And then I also have the warm one, which is actually kind of shimmery. This is a Jane Cosmetics bronzer. This is a NYX bronzer, which is actually a little bit warm and I don't use it that often. This is a Sonia Kashuk cream one, which is really, really nice for cream contouring. And then Physicians Formula, these ones are really, really nice also. This is a Milani matte one. This one was limited edition also. 
but it's really, really nice. And then of course the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love that one. Another Physicians Formula one. These ones are the Elf Mineral Bronzers, and then I have a little baby Laguna right here, and an Elf uh, Blush in Taupe, which is fantastic for contouring. I have the Bahama Mama, which I love that one also, and then a little, like, uh, travel size park and do princess and this is a milani one that has like a bronzer shade on one side and a contour shade on the other then i have this park avenue princess palette which has a bronzer blush and highlight in it this is the forever nude palette from bh cosmetics and then this is a fit me stick a dark one for contouring and this is also a foundation that i use for contouring sometimes there's a random setting spray in there and then this is the it cosmetics my sculpted face palette which is really nice also and over here i have a couple more physicians formula ones these ones are really nice too they're a little warm this is the milani tantastic which is kind of like a dupe for the lorac um body frosting or whatever it's called and then this is a shimmery bronzer from Milani, so I don't use that all that often. A couple more Physicians Formula ones here. This is NYC Sunny. This is a Laura Geller like um, balance and bronze kind of powder. This is a little flower duo that I actually haven't even opened yet, but it's got blush and bronzer in it. Um, another Physicians Formula one. This is an e.l.f. baked one. I have a little cargo sample bronzer. And then this one is a Bare Minerals foundation that's too dark, so I thought I would throw that in the bronzer drawer. Okay, so this drawer is powders and then over here I have a couple brow products. So back here I have a Physicians Formula. This one is a Neutrogena just like blotting paper. This is the Mali Face Defender which is just like you put it on. It's kind of supposed to keep your oils at bay. Then I have a couple Rimmel ones back here. I have the BH Studio Pro Powder which is it's pretty good. I have an It Cosmetics um, foundation, which I absolutely love. The new Infallible Pro Matte Powder, and then these are my Hourglass Powders. These two are my favorite. We have Mood Light and Dim Light. So that one right there is Mood Light, which is gorgeous. And then this one is Dim Light, which is also really nice. Then I also have a white one, which is Ethereal Light, a yellow one, and a shimmery one. Then back here, I have an e.l.f. Mattifying Powder. These are all my Fit Me Powders. There's a couple of the regular ones, and then one of the um, poreless ones. Then I have some Laura Geller products. This is the Balance and Brighten Foundation, which is really, really pretty. And then this one is a duo that has a um, balance and brighten and a balance and bronze in it, so that's nice. And then this one is an e.l.f. powder, another e.l.f. powder. This is the um, under eye setting powder, which is amazing. I use this every day if I'm going to highlight. It's just really, really perfect. This is, and these are some sample ones. It's a Be a Bombshell one and the little tart one. Then I have my Hourglass palette right there, some blotting papers. These two are Sonia Kashuk. This is the pressed one, and this is the loose version. I like these. I know a lot of people thought they were supposed to be highlighters. I just use them as setting powders, and I really like them. Okay, then over here, I have a Physicians Formula powder that I haven't opened. This is the Cody Airspun powder, which I bought this because I heard people talking about it, and I haven't even used it yet, so I need to break it out and use it. And these three e.l.f. powders are pretty nice powders. Some of them are shimmery, and some of them are just translucent. The shimmery ones are nice, like in the summertime, to add a little bit of glow to like your body or like your shoulders and stuff but I don't use them all that often. And then over here, I have some brow products. So these Anastasia ones right here are the ones I use probably 98% of the time. This is the powder, which I use most of the time just because on an everyday basis, I don't need a super, super sculpted brow. And then I have two of the dip browns in medium brown and dark brown. And then this is a hard candy. It's got like a highlighter on one end and then a brow like gel in the other and it's got fibers in it. So I thought this was gonna be like the Benefit Gimme Brow, but it's not at all. So I should really probably just toss that one. This is a flower quad that I used to use this dark color here for the like tail end of my brow. And then I have, these ones are from the Balm, they're brow pow pop powders. I have a blonde and a brunette one. And I have an e.l.f. kit that I never really used all that much. And then the um, Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go. Okay, so this is a really, really fun drawer. This is blushes. And as you can see, I have way too many. I actually have like another drawer that has like my overflow blushes. But these are the ones that I like the most and that I use the most often, if you can believe that. So up here, I have some palettes. So this is the Tarte one from the holidays from this year. There's five blushes in there. They're really nice. Then I have a couple Z palettes. This one right here has my Benefit blushes that came in the holiday kit. I can't remember what it's called. And these ones are Jordana blushes, which are also really nice for the price. And this one is kind of like random 
ones I don't use. These are e.l.f. ones. That's another Jordana and then a little What's Up highlighter like sample that I use when I go on trips. Then over here I have the e.l.f. palettes. These are the light and the dark palette and you can just like pop the blushes out and mix them and match them if you want. And I also find these are more pigmented than like the studio blushes which I wasn't really a huge fan of so I really like that, that they're more pigmented. This is a Tarina Tarantino doll skin cheek palette that I got in a boxy charm. Just really really pretty. I love Tarina Tarantino products. And then the Nar virtual domination palette. Okay. Okay, then for these blushes, I have the Mary Luminizer and Cine Luminizer back here. I have a bunch of Laura Geller blushes right here. I have some NARS ones. I have this little kind of like sample Josie Moran Argan Oil blush, and then these ones are my balm ones. I have Cabana Boy, Frat Boy, and Down Boy. Cabana Boy is so pretty. I really love these like really deep kind of like um mauve ish blushes and this one's not too dark so I can get away with this on my light skin and I really really love this one and then these are the instain blushes right here that I have I think I have all of them but one and it was just like really orange and so I didn't think it would look good on me I really like these blushes and then I have also hot mama over here I just had a random Ofra blush that I got in another subscription box okay then up here I have these wet and wild ones that I couldn't fit all together so I had to separate them then I have my tart ones these are the regular ones these came in a holiday set this is one that I got in a subscription box my Becca ones which are probably my most used blushes this one is damselfly and it is so so ridiculously pretty and then my other favorite is this one which is flower child and it's like a really nice shimmery pink one so i really love those blushes a ton but all of the becca blushes are amazing okay then i have two of the tarte cheek stains right here and then a Lorac kind of like bronzy kind of blush and then these are all of my milani ones luminoso of course is my favorite then I have NYX blushes here. I have a couple of the Essence Silky Touch blushes. And then these ones right here are Lorac blushes, which are really pretty. This is like a really natural kind of like dusty color. That one's called Plum. It's just really pretty. Then over here I have some more Milani ones. These ones are the Rose Powder blushes. I talked about these in a What's New at the Drugstore video. And then I have this one, which I think was limited edition also, but it's kind of got like a bunch of little flowers in there. These ones are the Maybelline Master Studio blushes, which are really, really pretty. I have like a nude one, a corally one, and then a deeper one. This is a Julep blush, a NYX cream blush. These are the e.l.f. mineral blushes, if I can get it out, which are really soft and really pretty. Again, I like these much better than I like the Studio blushes. And then these ones are sleek blushes, which are amazing. You do have to order them online, but they're so, so pretty. Let me show you a couple. This one is rose gold, and this one is so much like, like Sexy Mama or like Orgasm. It has a really, really similar feel to it. It's just really, really pretty, and I think it might be even more like shimmery and metallic than those ones. Then this one is also really nice. This one is called Pomegranate. It's a really, really deep color, but again, it's really shimmery and pretty. So I love these sleek blushes. I need to get more of them. Okay, then I have a couple of the e.l.f. baked blushes right here and then a random Ulta one, which I was really surprised how much I liked this because it doesn't look like anything special, but it's really pretty on the cheeks. It's in the shade Sweet Cheeks. And then I have a BH Cosmetics duo that... I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. <laughs> okay, this is my foundation drawer, which this drawer kind of drives me nuts because there's no way to make it look pretty, I feel like. And so it just looks disorganized, but I promise you there's a method to the madness. So these are foundations over here. And then in the back, I have the ones that are darker, like my summer shades. So I have a ton of variety. This is one I got in a Mimi box. I have my um, Revlon Whipped Foundation. I have the Fit Me the L'Oreal, CoverGirl, more L'Oreal, Tarte, Maybelline, a lot of drugstore, mostly drugstore. This is the EX1, which is really a good foundation. I have Alme, Rimmel, Elf. This is a little sample of the Paracone MD foundation. And then I have, let's see what else, um, some BB creams. This is a Becca one, another L'Oreal. Elf. This is a Arbonne foundation. This is the CoverGirl 3-in-1, which I absolutely love. Elf BB Cream, Smashbox BB Cream, and then a couple Lorac foundations back here, which are also really nice. And then right here I have a couple BB creams. I have the Balm one and the Garnier one. See, it just looks so messy. I hate it. 
Okay, then in here I have little sample face primers or eye primers right here. So you can see there's like a little mini Smashbox one. There's Little Rock eye primer, Too Faced eye primer, another Smashbox sample. This is a Mika Beauty eye primer, which is really nice. Another little sample of a Bare Minerals primer. Milani primer, just all kinds of stuff. Then I have an extra beauty blender right here, and I've got an extra Real Techniques sponge back there, an extra EX1 foundation, and then an extra beauty blender solid cleanser. And then over here, these are all primers. So I have a ton of different ones. I have a lot of e.l.f. ones. I have Professional. This one is a sample of the Dr. Brandt one, Mirabella, a bunch of Laura Geller ones, the Baby Skin, La Rock, there's a Mally um, Primed and Poreless one here, L'Oreal, this little sample cover FX mattifying. This is the um, Monistat Anti-Chafing Gel that you can use as a primer. Um, there's another e.l.f. one back here, one that I got in a subscription box, and then the Garnier five, five Second Blur back here. So just a bunch of different ones for different, you know, skin times, different things that I want for my skin. So that's the foundation drawer. Okay, so now we're getting to some really fun ones. So these are a bunch of my palettes. So right here I have ColourPop Holiday Sets just because I like to keep my the ones separate that are limited edition so that I don't tell people that they're permanent when they're not. So this one is one that's just eyeshadows. This is eyeshadows and lipsticks and this is lipsticks. And then here I have my Urban Decay Naked Palette. So Naked 1, 2, and 3. And yes, I have two Naked Palettes. The originals just because one is really old and I was going to depot it and then I bought a new one to keep with me and I never depotted the original. So I have two of those. These are the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2, the Chocolate Bar and the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. These are the Anastasia Maya Mia and Tamana palettes that I actually bought before I bought the single shadows. This is the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette which is a really really nice like basics palette and then my basics one and two. And then over here I have my Kat Von D palette. This is the uh, Monarch and Chrysalis and this is the Interstellar palette which I haven't even actually used this yet. I bought it and I was so excited about it and I haven't used it. But I saw um, It's Kirsten do a tutorial with this one and it looks really pretty. She used this and some of the ColourPop shadows. So I'm gonna link that tutorial down below because it's just a really nice tutorial and I love Love, love it. Okay, then these right here are Too Faced palettes. This one is my favorite, Natural Eyes. I go back to this one all the time. It's just so pretty. You can do a neutral look or a dark look or a natural look. Just my favorite. And then I have, let's see, Boudoir Eyes. This is the Rock and Roll one. This is the A La Mode. And then these two here are Summer palettes. This one was from this year, and this one was from a couple years ago, and I didn't realize when I bought this year's that they're exactly the same palette. You see that? These two colors here have different names, and this one right here is a little bit different color. Everything else is exactly the same, and these, as you can see, those colors are very similar. So, basically I have two palettes, so I should have checked. I'll have to check next time so I don't get, like, a double. And then this one is the Matte Eyes. This is the um, Natural at Night palette, and this is a super old Smoky Eyes palette. And then back here I have the... Um, this is the bronzer palette they came out with in the summertime that has Chocolate Soleil, Snow Bunny, and Sun Bunny in it. Then I have the Vegas Lights palette from Makeup Geek. Like I said, I love Makeup Geek palettes. Look how pretty this roulette shade is. I wish that this was a permanent shade. Can you see just like how metallic and amazing that is? I love it. Okay, then these are Stila palettes right here. So in the garden, in the moment, in the no, and in the light. All these are really nice palettes, but I think they've been discontinued. Um, if you can find them, I've been seeing them for about $20 a piece. If you can find them, I would definitely grab them. And then this is the Stila Spirit palette, which is really pretty. One of their new palettes. I love this one. But this is one of my favorite drawers. I have a couple more drawers with palettes, so let's go on to that. Okay, so this is the very bottom drawer of the first Alex drawer. And of course, more palettes. So this is the Hello Kitty one that you could get at Sephora over the holidays. This is the Smashbox on the Rocks palette, the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume 1 and 2. This is the Nude Tude palette. I don't have the Nude Dude one. This is the Cargo Vintage Escapes. These are the Revealed 1 and 2 palettes, which are really, really nice and expensive palettes. This is the Smoked palette here. These are the um, Full Exposure and Double Exposure palettes. From Smashbox, this is the Electric Palette, which is a really, really pretty, really vibrant, amazing palette. These are some Balm ones. This is the um, Balm Joby one and Meat Matte Nude, which this one is really, really nice. Just all 
nudes. This matte sing here is amazing. Such a nice like transition color. And then I have a Pixie palette right here. This is the Urban Decay Glinda palette. And I heard that they are coming out with this shade right here, or they've probably already released it. It's like a duo, um, one's silver and one's gold, and they're so pretty. So that one's really pretty, and they're going to release it again for a little while. So grab that if you like that color. Okay, and then this one is the Smashbox on the Rocks, the smaller version of the palette. Okay, and then this is a Coastal Scents um, concealer palette that I really haven't used that much. These are two Z palettes that just have like drugstore eyeshadows in them that I don't use a ton. And then there's some empty Z palettes back here. And then this is the Becca Ombre Nudes palette, just a really pretty matte eyeshadow palette. And this is one of the Urban Decay shadow, or Box of Shadows palettes and then a pixie one down here at the bottom. Then over here I have a Real Techniques palette that I don't use that often. I wasn't really all that impressed with it. And then a NYX palette that is just kind of old and I haven't used it a ton lately. 